Oh, how good is it, boys, to have some rugby back, eh? The lads out there banging and clanging. Big games are coming. I like it. Now, I know we can't go to the stadium and watch. Well, what we can do is nail our big match day routine, right? And what is the most important part of big match day? Correct, food. And to that end, I've called an old friend of mine. Now, she literally knows her onions, OK? We're doing a cook-up. We're getting our pre-match meal nailed. And we're going to show the rugby community exactly what they should be doing to get their routines back, make things feel a little bit normal again. Now, she told me where we've got to meet her. I've got the coordinates. We might have to go off-road. We might have to get a little bit adventurous to get there. But I think it'll be worth it. Yeah, Jen, what a spot. This place is awesome. So, Jen, what we're trying to do today is keep in mind these poor rugby supporters that haven't been allowed for months and months yeah. to go and watch their teams live. And we're going to cook them, or you're going to cook them, yeah. a pre-match meal. Yeah. Okay, this isn't for the players, be a bit heavy on the old tummy. This is for the fans. Let's just get some set for the day. So what are we having? I'm going to cook you a Philly cheese steak sandwich. Ooh. Right, onions. That is actually what it smells like when you arrive at a rugby stadium yeah, on yeah. a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. Right, can you pass me the mushrooms? You can shove those in, actually. Yeah, it's shove fine. it all in. Yeah, Easy as that. Yeah. And then into that um, smoked paprika. You can bung in that um, parsley. And then this is the good bit. Just got those sizzle around Leave them a off. little bit. Yeah, nothing really? more to it than that. Right, so on our really beautiful bit of bavette steak here, Plenty of salt, a uh, little drizzle of oil. So we're just gonna, this is the good bit, sizzle that oh, on there. Oh yeah. And for those people who aren't as carnivorous as you and I are, you could do this with veggies, couldn't you? Yeah, without a doubt you could. Uh, one of my favourite vegetables to grill is chard, you know, with oh, the, yeah. the pink stems. Yeah, it's never like grilled it. Spin. It's really, really good. So you obviously love cooking outdoors, Jen. Is that, is that just because of the taste or is it kind of the whole event of the thing? It's the whole event for me, you know, it just turns it into a little bit of an exciting adventure and I think we, you know, we need all the little adventures we can get, yeah. don't we, right now? But, you know, this is, this is here and we're in this beautiful kind of wild location, but you could do this on any barbecue in your back garden. Yep. yep. And you can't deny that um, eating outside, it tastes so much better. Tastes better, tastes yeah. better. So, we are 50, that is bang on to take off there. That's where we want it. Right, so I'm cutting it across the grain. You can get the bread on now and put yeah. it butter side down because that butter is what's going to make it really kind oh, of right. crispy on the outside. Okay. Hear that sizzle? It's going to scoop up some mushrooms. Oh, yeah. They are smelling really, really good. Right, then our beautiful steak. Look at that. Oh, you could use gosh. any cheese you like, but I really love Stilton. It's yeah. my favourite cheese in the world. So. Butter up. Like this. Oh, amazing. All that butter's kind of dripping down. Oh, Can you yeah. see it bubbling? Yeah. Beautiful. Right, let's get that one off. Go on, Slice then. Slice that one in half. Go on, then. No lying, all right? Honest opinion. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> You'd love it, Badge, but you can't have any. You're a dog. So, get over it. Uh, <laughs> Jen, thanks for bringing us out here. What a spot. Great day. Well, it's an absolute pleasure. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to come back. and You can leave the rig there. I'm Cook yourself back. a sandwich. Cook myself a sardine. Yeah. yeah, and the dogs. Sounds decent. What Little do you reckon, one. mate? Reckon we'll come again? I think we'll come again, <laughs> won't we? <mate? laughs>